Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tastyworks tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to place stop loss orders on the Tastyworks platform. Now, before I actually jump into the tutorial, if you guys are already planning on opening a Tastyworks account and wanna support the channel, please use my link down below. It actually helps me out quite a bit. Now, jumping into the actual process of creating a stop loss order in here, it's actually incredibly easy and there are a couple different ways we can do it. For the most part, you're always gonna be doing it from the positions page. So let's come up here to the very top and click on positions. From this page, you're gonna be able to see all of the current positions I have in the account. And right now I actually have them unchecked, so let's go ahead and open that up. Right there down below, you can see I currently have a position on Palantir, and if I click on it, you can see I currently have one share of stock only. Now, for those of you not familiar, a stop loss order is typically gonna be used to get you out of a position if you're losing too much money, basically to stop your losses, hence the name. Now, Tastyworks doesn't have all of the options available or all of the stop order types available to us, but it does have stop market and stop limit orders, which is what we're gonna go over today. In this first example, I wanna go ahead and get stopped out of this position on Palantir, basically sell my one share of Palantir if it ever drops to or below 15 bucks a share. The simplest way to do it from this page is simply put your mouse on the shares box right here and right click on it. From there, it's gonna open up a little pop-up window, the first one being closed position, then the analysis page, and then the bracket order button. Now, I've already made a video about how you guys can create OCO bracket orders, so if you wanna check that out, I will link it here and I'll put it in the description. But in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on just putting in a single stop loss order. So we're actually gonna come up to the very top and click on close position. Once you click on that, it automatically takes you to the trade page and we can see the order ticket built out down below. Now you will see that down there below, it does fill out a lot of it for us automatically. We don't have to adjust a lot of it. Like right here, it automatically says we wanna sell this position. It automatically puts in one share just to the right of that because that's all I have in this account is one share. But as we move to the right, this is what we're gonna have to start changing because right now it defaults the order type as a limit order. A limit order is typically gonna be used when you wanna sell the stock above the current price. So hey, if Palantir ever goes up to 20 bucks a share, automatically sell it for me. But in this case, we wanted to use a stop loss order. So we're gonna click on the word limit right here and change it to a stop market order in this case. Once you do that, you're gonna see the stop price over here, which is the activation price. And right now it says $16.86. Now, if you remember in this example, I wanted to actually make this 15 bucks a share. So we'll go ahead and highlight that and type in 15. Right below that, you can see it defaults to a market order because remember, this is a stop market order. Meaning if Palantir the stock ever drops down to my activation price, it ever drops down to 15 bucks or lower, a market order will immediately be sent out there to close this position. Now, since it is a market order being sent out there, technically I don't know exactly what I'm gonna fill at. If the stock drops during regular market hours, I can expect to probably fill at 15, maybe 14.99, maybe 14.98, but pretty darn close to 15. Now, if that move instead happens in the after hours, so in the pre or post market, I could get filled significantly lower than this $15 activation price. Let's say Palantir closes today at 16 bucks and then overnight tonight, some terrible news comes out. And then the pre-market tomorrow morning, Palantir opens up at let's say 12 bucks a share. Since a stop of any kind does not work in the pre or post market, it's gonna wait until the market opens to activate. Meaning as soon as Palantir opens up at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time at 12 bucks a share, I'm gonna sell this position at 12 bucks a share, whatever I can get for it right at market open. Now, if you want to combat this a little bit or maybe protect yourself a little bit, you can change this from a stop market order to a stop limit order. Now with the stop limit order, you're gonna see a new box pops up down here below, and this is your lower end threshold. Instead of a market order going out there when your activation price is hit, a limit order will go out instead. So let's say in that same exact example, I still wanna get out of Palantir if it ever drops down to 15 or lower, but I'm not willing to sell it for anything less than 14 if there is a big gap down. So what I could do is change this from 1686 right here, and I could instead type in 14 bucks. So what I'm saying is if Palantir does drop down to 15, I do wanna sell my shares, but I'm not willing to sell it for anything less than 14. Now, if Tastyworks can get $14.99 for me, they will sell it at $14.99. If they can sell it at $15, they'll get me $15. But what I'm saying is, I'm willing to go all the way down to $14 if necessary to still get a fill. Now, if I was happy with this, the only other thing I would potentially adjust is the time and force box over here on the far right-hand side. Currently, it's marked as a day order, which means if it does not happen by 4 p.m. today, go ahead and cancel this order. If I wanted to make it good until canceled, because I wanted to try every single day until it actually filled or until I canceled it, I could click on that and change it to GTC, good until canceled. The last one you saw on the list there, if I click on it again, is GTD, which is good till date. That's if you have a specific date in mind. Maybe I don't want this good until canceled. I only want it good till February 15th for some reason. I could go ahead and click on that 
and put in the February 15th date right here below. Now let's say I was happy with this, if I actually wanted to place it, and actually let's switch this over to good until canceled again. Once I'm done with that, I would simply hit review and send down here in the lower right hand corner. From there, it's gonna take me to the confirmation screen, basically making sure everything looks right. Right on the right, it says the exact same thing I said before. My trigger is still 15, so if Palantir drops down to 15, put out this limit order to sell it at $14 or better. And coming back over to the left, it still says I'm gonna be selling one share to close. I only have one share, so that's perfectly correct. Since I'm happy with it, we'll go ahead and hit send order down here, and the order has been submitted. If I wanna double check that order ticket, we'll go back to the positions page, and right here below, we can see that working order. From left to right, working order, sell to close one share, my stop activation price is 15, and the limit is 14. If I change my mind and I either want to do cancel this order ticket or maybe edit it in some way, I could come over here to the shares box, right click on the box. From there, it opens up the pop-up window just like before where I can cancel the order, I can replace the order, or I can create a similar order. In my case, I simply want to cancel the order, so we'll go ahead and click on that, and the order has been canceled. Now, another way you could do this is by simply clicking on the bid price of Palantir if you wanted to create a closing trade. Now you can see I already have Palantir up here at the top. So if I look over on the right, I could simply click on the bid, $16.86. Or I could come over to my watch list page and click on the bid price over here, $16.86. As soon as I do that, it's gonna bring up an order ticket just like before, automatically taking me to the trade page. The main difference being is that the order quantity is reset to your default order. So in my case, my order default is 100 shares. Keep in mind, I only have one share of Palantir, so if I wasn't paying attention and I put this in exactly how I wanted to, and it filled, I could mistakenly go short 99 shares of Palantir if I wasn't paying attention. So for the most part, I would just always come up here to the positions page, right click on your position, and then say close position from here. Hopefully that stops you from making any dumb mistakes by putting in the wrong share quantity or doing something by accident. But like I said, you could simply come up here to the bid ask price, click on the bid in this case, and you've got the order ticket down here below. Just fill it out just like we already talked about. Change the order type from limit to stop market or stop limit, and then put in your activation price right here and send the order. Now there's really not a whole lot to it, and that's really everything you guys are gonna need to know to create a stop loss order yourself on the Tastyworks platform. If I did miss anything, or you guys have any additional questions at all for me, please let me know down below in the comments. Like I said before, if you guys want to support the channel and already plan on opening a Tastyworks account, please use my link down below. It really helps me out a lot. But that about wraps things up for today's video. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you all in the next video.